Driving in the Bentley, smoking moon like rocks. Hey. Pocket full of mother blue blue rocks. Girls made popping bands home. What's up everybody, welcome back to the All The Gas Show. If you've been watching the daily vlogs, you guys know the 2020 Denali, the Dooley, got stolen from my house about two months ago. We went testing crawfish at Ivadale till like two o'clock in the morning. I get home around six o'clock in the morning. Ivadale's two hours from South Houston. By the time I get to the shop, it's five o'clock, 5.30. We unload and everything, get home around six o'clock. I pull up to my house and the Denali's gone. It is what it is, this was two months ago. So since then, I've been on the market for a truck. I just wasn't sure what to get again, you know? I was on the fence of a another 2500 Chevy like the giveaway we had before or a GMC Denali 2500 but two days ago we went to Kansas and met up with Justin for the Hellcat Ram and the LT4 OBS and Justin had a black 2024 Denali Ultimate and I seen it and I was like damn that's a badass truck so I talked to Justin there and I was like hey man can I check out your truck you know I looked at the interior and I was like whoa it's badass this this and that and I was like you know what I need to give me one of those so that same day we flew in I get to my house I get on my computer and I start looking them up and I find a dealer with one and I'm like man this looks nice and it's a nice color too it's a color you haven't seen in a Denali yet it's a new color and I was like I need to go get that hope and here it is So there it is, 2024 Denali Ultimate. What do you think, Tiny? The Ultimate package, I like it. It's, it's different from a regular Denali. Now the Denali's already well equipped trim, fully loaded trim, and I think it was their highest tier of trim for the GMC models. And then I think the Ultimate was the ones that came out this year. I'm not 100% I'm not sure, but I think they came out the 2024 edition. Now have that Ultimate trim. It has a two-tone interior, which is something that is totally different this year. Like, I don't work for, for GM or none of that, so I don't 100% I don't know. But from what I've seen in my experience, guys, so don't judge me on the comments down below, because I know we have plenty of experts. We have plenty of perrillos out here. Just don't judge me on that. But if you look at the high country interiors, they come two-tone, some of them with the piping on there and the custom stitching. Now, Denali, when they, when they went with the ultimate trim, they added, they incorporated some of that feature in here, which overall looks real clean. And I think, Frank, you were telling me that these come with massage sheets now, right? Yeah, so now it has a massager, kind of like the F450. Yeah. But it's just a button, it only does your back. So you press this button right here, and it massages your back. Nice, that's nice. Yeah. Now, Beto's is a F450 Platinum Edition, and that one is also fully loaded. It has massage, seat warmers, yeah. all. It has everything you could think of, has it. And one thing that I really like about this style and this, this truck, the 2024, is their big screen now. They started going with the big screen. I know Dodge and, and Ford have gone to big screens, but like on our old previous ones, on the 2023s, the 2022s, the, even mine's the 21, they have the smaller little little uh, eight inch screen or six inch screen, whatever it is. But now it has a full screen, which is sick. I like it. I like it. And everything is controlled up there. Yeah, not only that, GM has been falling behind. They finally kind of caught up with Dodge and Ford with the interior. Really? Yeah, it always yeah, yeah. looked like a work truck screen. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, GM lacked a little bit on the interior. I know Ford is super crazy on the interior. So is Dodge. They have the that Longhorn interior that kind of looks like this too. It has that, that that Western country look. One thing that I'm noticing right now it has a Denali, and has like GPS coordinates there, like a north and south coordinates. Oh, it sure does. Something that we're probably gonna have to look up to see what that means. No, it's the Denali Mountain then in Alaska. It has to be the coordinates to that. Really, it's Mount Denali. Yeah. I didn't know there was a Mount Denali. Yeah, yeah, that's the whole name. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. See? So you learn new stuff. I didn't know. Uh, I don't know my geographics like it's that. It's the so. tallest mountain in North America. Really? Yeah. The Nolly Mountain. So yeah. there you go. Super sick. I like the interior. It looks real good. I like it. They even put the trailer brakes up here. It looks good. Now you have the sunroof. I don't know if you had a sunroof on the other Denali. Did you? Man, I can't remember. I never used it. Yeah. Right now, yeah. I opened it just for light to come in. But I'm not a big fan of sunroofs. The 2500 definitely didn't have it because we had the star lights. Yeah. All across. And then this has the display on the windshield as well, right? It does. It's the exact same one, except now it actually tells you how far ahead a car is. 
Really? So it'll tell you like one second or two seconds or 0.5 seconds in front of you. It's nice. Now let's check out the back. Now the back now, one thing that I did like about these, like they got roomier actually. The GM models got a little bit roomier. We've owned Cat Eyes here, Cat Eyes four doors, the LBZ, four door dually. I have a 2009 Silverado and they never had this much leg room in, in a four door pickup or whatever. One thing that I like, I mean, now that they're starting to incorporate is the big leg room. And the feature that I that I like that I don't have in mind. Which oh, you don't have that? I don't have this pocket. Yeah, the 2020 had it. The little secret compartment. Yeah, yeah. Well, mine's mine's an LT. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't even have cup holders in the back. But yeah. Oh yeah. Let's let's pull that down. Yeah, yeah. You got your yeah. cup holders right there. The two tone interior looks real good with the piping. This is what they call piping on the seats. Piping with the stitching looks real good. The interior, the black on tan. I like it. I like it. it looks real good. Oh, it's a suede headliner, yeah, too, the, factory. The sales guy was saying it's all, he was naming all the type of leather and the suede it has. I don't remember the terminology, but he was saying like, it's the super most decked out trim you can get. Nice, nice. And one feature that I like that I think the newer trucks now have is the tweeter here. Now, back then, I think they didn't have tweeters. They had it probably incorporated down here. Oh yeah. See, so now they have tweeters on the doors, which is real cool. And it has obviously the Bose sound system all around. Real good, nice interior electric steps and most of you guys that don't own dooleys or whatever and you own the, the big dooley they always always come with the, the gooseneck hitches and all that stuff but one thing that i did like about this tailgate right here of course gm has that three that three tailgate thing but this one like some of the denali's they have speakers in them right frank you might have to close it again really? you have yeah you're gonna have to shut it open the top one the main one okay yeah now we open the other one there you go. And then it has the speakers. Frank was showing this to us the other day and they come with speakers there. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and it's, it is a kicker. So I'm assuming this is probably like something GM added at the end or I don't know why it's kicker because they have bolts on the inside and kicker on the outside. Yeah. So I don't I don't know, probably an accessory they added to them. I know some of these come mostly on the on the higher trims like the Denali's and the LTZs and whatnot. So I'm I, not sure if this actually comes on the LTZs no? or the regular Denali's. I think this might be an ultimate thing only. But really? somebody's gonna correct us if I'm well, wrong. I think, I think my buddy has a Denali, and it has regular this? Denali, and he has oh, this. Oh, I didn't know that. He has so a Denali 2500 and it has this. So the 3500 had it? Uh, no, not yours, not okay. yours. I have a buddy that has a 1500 Denali and they're putting it on there. Bro. No shit. Yeah, so, I mean, it's a feature that comes on Denali. It's pretty cool. Gotta figure out how you close it. No, you just shut it back up, yeah. Oh, it's a little hard. <laughs> yeah, get some muscle, Tiger. There you go. Really like it. Looks real cool. And why'd you go with this color? Now I'm starting to see it everywhere. Yeah. But at first, I, this was a color I didn't see before, and I didn't want black because black gets dirty, and I have black already. White gets dirty. This one, if it gets a little dirty, you won't be able to tell as much, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's supposedly a new 2024 color, also. Well, it smells new, and I, I like I like the little trim. I mean, if, if you zoom in on the wood grain, they have kind of like the little mountain trim looking color there. It's a little, it's a little different from your regular Denali. Obviously, that's why it's a Denali Ultimate, and it also comes with a bigger price tag. I think oh, yeah. a way bigger price tag. If you guys are interested in something like this, it's gonna be in the six figures, and uh, they're, they're pricey, guys. I don't know if I want to go all into the whole buttons and features of this thing, but it has a lot of things to do. What you could imagine, it does. It does everything except fly, pretty much. I mean, I think it, ha it has the basic little stuff. <laughs> Happens all the time here at the shop here in local South Houston. Big shout out to South Houston because today we're also going to do the South Houston Christmas Parade. As you can see, the guys are out there washing out, washing the monster truck in the thing. Black Sugar, I'm going to take out Black Sugar is back here too. But uh, I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown on this truck. Now, for this truck, Frank, what is your plans at the end of the day for it? It's just my daily now. The good thing is we have actual haulers now where we don't have to abuse it. Yeah. Before the 2020 Denali, the black one, it was abuse. It's been everywhere. California, Atlanta, Colorado, you name it, it's been there. This one is going to be more as my daily. It's not going to be so abused. The driving team's not really going to drive it as much. Maybe just Alex here and there, but that's about it. But it'll be my daily now. It'll be a last resort, yeah. kind of like what Beto's 450 is. I mean, luckily here we have the LBZ and of course we have the Dodge. So we have those haulers. And last resort, if we need something to haul, we use this or the 450 on the on the last things we need to do. But typically, I mean, it's just there in case we need it. And just something for you to move around that you need also heavy duty just in case. Yeah, well, definitely the merch trailer. Correct. For like correct. the Dallas events or anything local, you know, I can move around with the merch trailer. Well, stuff we like are that. upgrading our merch trailer because 
Thanks for the new truck. Oh, see, I was yeah. just, I was just saying, if there's anybody that's gonna drive it, it's gonna be Alex. Yeah. But just Alex, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'll take care of the truck. That's it. I'm like, somebody to take care of my trailer. <laughs> my trailer. Look, it looked like it went through 20 different Copart auctions. And you know the yeah. It's beautiful. Look at the bag. Well, Alex says he takes care of the trucks, but in reality, I don't know. It's a dog. He's a dog for a reason, and I mean, he uses them. He uses them. I'll just leave it at that. I'm, luckily, we're blessed, and these trucks are work mules, pretty much. I mean, they're made to haul. They're made to, to help us travel and help us outreach to you guys and go places. So, I mean, at the end of the day, that's what they are here for. But, Frank, like I was saying, what are you planning on doing as far as wheels, suspension, anything you're going to paint on, any modifications you're going to do? What, do you, what all, at the end of the day, you're going to do to it? For sure, for sure, color match. Color match. Yeah, so we're gonna color match this, the same color, kind of like the 3500 was. So color match it probably all the way to here, all this, all the plastic. I'm gonna, gonna, I, I'm, I'm gonna give you my input. I'm gonna give you my input on the color match. Now, color match is cool. You're like, fuck it, let's color match it to this and this, right? But I think you should color match it to the other stuff, to this. To the black chromish look? Yeah, to this. Oh, just making a shiny black. Yeah, like this, look. Yeah, that's and that's another cool feature about this truck is the black chrome on the grill. Yeah. Like mine is, is white on black and the black the black inserts are painted. Like yeah. even, even these are painted or whatever, it's all painted black and it looks good. It all sets it a little bit. It doesn't give you that dull trim look, you know what I mean? True that. Re regardless, whichever way you go, it's still gonna be a shiny part. It's gonna be this you know shiny what? black. Cause, I mean, you can see it. Yeah, you know what? Maybe this color on here then. Correct. No, oh, that, that would. That's actually one of your best ideas, Tidy. Correct. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna <laughs> be here all day. Here. That's why you're here. Yeah. Even the Denali painted that color. This Denali, change it to this color, it'll pop. You know what I mean? Yeah. It'll, it'll, I, I think it will really work. What about uh, your wheels? Well, leveling kit for sure. Okay. And then go 26s. I have the JTX 26s that I had on the 3500. So once I put the leveling kit, I'll put the 26s on there also. That's right, because when they borrowed it, from your house, right? No, I, I said it on the video earlier. Yeah, when they stole it from my house, we had taken off those wheels. We got a lot of comments saying, oh, how convenient they stole it without the wheels. We didn't take the wheels off the night before or the week before. We actually took the wheels off in March when the guys did a trip to California because it was a heavy load and we didn't want the tires to pop. If you guys remember when we left to New Mexico, we went out to New Mexico for an event that Denali had wheels on it. And I think it popped the tire on the way to California because I went to Hoonigans, right, with the monster truck. I think it fucked up a tire over there. And then on the way to, to New Mexico, yeah, I got pulled over for DOT. And then on the way back from New Mexico in Amarillo, it busted another tire. Yeah. So the load, just the load itself was too much for those rubber band mud tires. So at the end of the day, we said, you know what, let's pull them off because we're still gonna move more stuff around and doing a lot more traveling. So we went ahead and went back with the original wheels and tires for the heavier load because that monster truck and then the other vehicle that was on that gooseneck trailer is a heavy load. That truck itself is real heavy. So, I mean, you put a lot of weight on that, guys. For those guys that really don't know, if you put a lot of weight on a tire, it's gonna pop, especially when it's at a road, it heats up and whatnot, so I mean, it's just stuff you gotta take into really consideration and understand what you're doing. When we took off the wheels, we took them off with a purpose and we were fortunate enough that they didn't steal it with the wheels. So I would've gotten a little more crazy because those are yeah. expensive wheels and I would've been like, oh my God. Yeah. Fortunately, the wheels weren't on there and we were able to move on. So the plan is the 26s JTX that I have, I gotta get them polished. Uh, Alex already talked to Serna, so we're gonna get those polished. I gotta get the leveling kit and then slap it on. And then after that, actually first, it's gonna okay. be window tint. Window tint. Yeah. That's right, window tint. And we're here in Houston and you know, 5% tint so you can't see up in my window type stuff. We do that, plus the windshield. I mean, if you're a police officer and you're watching this, we do not tint the windshield. It's a prank, it's a prank, it's a prank. But we are tinting the front windshield, technically. Of course, we like to be wheel tinted and we do it for a purpose as well. I mean, you're like, ah, these guys just whatever, you know, they think they're cool. No, when we travel in these trucks, again, the comfort, coolness, it's hot in Texas too. When I get pulled over and I'm, cause I work pipeline, I get pulled over and my windows are tinted dark. They's like, hey, what you, bro, I sit in my truck most of the day, it's my office and it's the heat, all that. The tint actually helps, makes a big difference. So it's gonna look real good. It's gonna be a nice little cruiser for you. Oh yeah, nice little daily. And I was actually gonna get a car instead of a truck. Yeah, but yeah. then with Christmas around the corner, I was struggling going back and forth, picking up a truck here to go get the Christmas tree, then bring it back and go back and forth. I was like, man, I need a truck again. Well, this like, is going to be hard parking at the Galleria, I'll tell you that. Much. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. It's already hard parking in 
parking garages. You can't go to drive throughs with it. Even stock the way it is, but that's no big deal. And it's funny that you say drive throughs is the main reason I didn't go for the for a dually. Because, you know, I mean, I, I go to a drive through I'm not going to get off, you know. If I drive a dually, it's hard to get to a drive through You know, my 2500 is easy. Sometimes it's a little hard. If the Starbucks drive throughs they're a little tight. You, yeah, you I, drink I, Starbucks, bro? Yeah, I drink Starbucks from time to time. I like to be a little... That's too much sugar for you. Yeah, I, I like to be a little, a little bougie like my boy Beto sometimes. Let's drink some Starbucks. You know, fun fact, my boy Beto had a Starbucks tradition for a little while back. I mean, he was... He was on a daily or some shit like that, huh? Oh, he was for he was on a run getting Starbucks on the daily, but he actually cut that off and just does the Red Bulls now. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but guys, like I said, Frank did a hell of a purchase. Denali Ultimate. You guys could Google it, check out all the features compared to a Denali regular Denali from a Denali Ultimate. Like I said, I'm not a big salesman. I don't know nothing about this stuff. I'm not a manufacturer of it. I just know what I know, what I've seen. I think a couple years back when we made a count of our fleet, I think the fleet was about 57. I think now it's probably bumped up to about 60 something. So it's a big fleet. It's a big headache to maintain everything. But either way, my boy Perrillo's on lunch break, as you can see, eating his McDouble. Or, or what is it, bro? McDouble? McDouble? You wouldn't know, huh? Can I get a bite? <laughs> I bought like five. I'm good, bro. I'm just chilling. I'm on a I'm on a vegan diet this week. Oh, you lie! <laughs> a vegan diet. You seafood diet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You seafood. <laughs> you know. So, but with that being said, guys, quick rundown to Nali. But we're going back to uh, get ready for this Christmas parade that's gonna start here in a matter of like one hour, and then. Uh, You're trying to reach for some fries, bro. I'm trying to reach for something, dog. Trying, trying to take my food down. My boy Buffalo got back from the valley today. He went to the valley. A day trip. A day trip, right? Yeah. yeah, I went to go visit my boy Memo. What'd you pick up? No, I dropped off the T56. Oh, the transmission. Yeah. Transmission. And, and we picked up the, the trailer from Wakala. The Sourish Title trailer the now. Sourish Title trailer, man. I almost went to jail because of that thing, bro. I can imagine. I can imagine. <laughs> but like I said, guys, for that being said, the Denali Ultimate, I like the truck overall. Hell of a truck. Maybe one day I'll own one like it. Or maybe one of you guys will own it one day. Just keep hustling keep working and you can reach that goal but for this video guys make sure you hit the subscribe button that bell notification drop big thumbs up on this video oh before we leave i want to remind guys we hit 300,000 subscribers and that can am is coming pretty quick i think in the matter i think next week we do all drop it off at the shop i believe the wheels are coming in already the lift kits in already epic giveaway and we're gonna see you on the next one